Hey folks, the other day I had someone ask about how to sync foundations and that made me realize that would make a, a great new tutorial to add to our collection. So today we're going to take a look at how to sync foundations. Um, when you are building, your foundations usually sit right on top of the ground. In this case, I am in a little pre-built hut here on my Amissa map, and I want to lay some foundations in here so I can turn this into a living area. If I put my foundations down, you can see it works, but it's not the most attractive thing. It doesn't really fit in, and they're also pretty tall, so I have to step up onto them. If I continue filling in, they're going to raise me up closer to the ceiling. I'll end up in the doorway, blocking a good part of the doorway and having to crouch to get through. And it just doesn't look that great. So what I want is to lower or sink these foundations down until they are almost exactly the same height as the existing floor texture. Over here, I have a set of sunken foundations. And you can see that it's a much smoother, more natural look. It almost looks like it fits in with the existing build. So we're going to take a look at how to do this. It's pretty simple to do. Um, doesn't require any special tools or skills. It can just require some patience because like most things with Arc, it can be a little glitchy and janky. So let's get started. You're really only going to need two things. You're going to need some foundations and you're going to need some pillars. Uh, with this, I usually work with a low cost foundation and pillar. In this case, I am using wood foundations and wood pillars. And the other thing I recommend is use the vanilla arc version, not the modded version, to do the initial sinking down into the floor. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to grab my foundation here, and I'm just going to kind of line it up where I'm going to want my first foundation to be. So let's try to get this neatly in the corner here and stick it in there. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take my pillar, and that pillar needs to go right in the middle of that foundation. We're going to use the snap points on the pillar, which has multiple snap points, to then lower our next foundation a little bit below this one. So you can see there are two different snap points here. An upper snap point that will put it level with the existing foundation and a lower one. Sometimes they'll kind of go right to that lower snap point. Other times you may need to rotate snap points until you get it. And sometimes, with arc being the way it is, even if it's showing in that green outline that it is at the lower snap point, when you go to place it, it will still put it at the regular one. This is where your patience comes in. And if one isn't working, sometimes going around to another side and trying will get it to sink. And of course, this is an example of arc being super janky. There we go. So now you can see this foundation is the slightest bit lower than that one. You can either pick up or demolish the existing ones that you put down first. And we're just going to repeat this process with the new one. Pillar in the middle. Now I'm going to try and find that lower snap point. And again, this can sometimes take multiple tries until you get the right snap point. Try it on different sides as well, because Arc loves to mess with us. There we go. There's a sunken one. So now I'm going to pick this one up. This one I can demolish. And again, lather, rinse, repeat. And we're just going to keep doing this and dealing with Arc being Arc. Ooh, nice on the first try that time until we get them to the height we want them to be. There's my pillar, foundation. Nope, I didn't like that one. There we go. You want to be careful when you get close to the level of the floor. If you go too deep into the mesh, you might not be able to interact or place anything on that foundation, but I think we can go one more here without running into that issue. 
Not quite. There we go. So this one is now a pretty decent height. I can still interact with it. Go ahead and pick these two up. Demolish that one. So now that I have this foundation at the height that I want, I can go in and grab the foundations I actually want to use. and fill in my new floor. And you can see that makes for a much nicer, cleaner floor than our original foundations at the original height. So again, we're just using um, simple wood or thatch foundations, some basic wood pillars. Make sure you're using the Arc Vanilla version, not the modded versions. And then once you have it to the height you want it, then swap out for your modded or better quality foundations. There you have it. That is how we sync foundations.